Hey guys, Quad Addict here. Hey, I just wanted to show you guys something. I uh, For the guys who haven't figured this out yet, let me go ahead and unplug this. Forward for now, that light's annoying. Um, I was changing my quad from plus mode to uh, X mode, you know? And I figured, well, I'll just do a video so anybody else could uh, see it and uh, learn how to do it without explaining it, you know? But uh, basically, I'm making my, uh, my quad plus to X mode. Um, first thing I do is just plug it in, obviously plug it in, open up your GECS, and uh, go in your uh, aircraft tab, select the multi, well make sure you're in multi-rotor, but select your uh, frame type, so from plus to X, do that, hit save, now you're in X mode as far as the, uh, the frame type. Then you go onto your attitude. Go to yaw, change that to 45. Now this is given if your board was mounted correctly square on your frame. Because I know a lot of the frames aren't reflecting the uh, CC board's uh, mounting pattern yet. So um, if it is square, 45 will put you in the middle of motor 1 and motor 2. So in, 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 right now in relation to how mine's set up now, the arrow f points to that front motor there. So, um, but I want to make this my front. Those two motors, motor one and motor two. So without moving the board, you don't have to move it. You just go into the attitude rotation tab in GCS and you change your yaw 45. Now if you're off, like mine is off a little bit. When I mounted it, because the holes weren't drilled and I drilled them, mine's off. You can see it's not 100% square. It's off a couple degrees. So before I even did anything, I was still in plus mode. I just moved it over a couple degrees in the attitude rotation screen and it was fine. So but right now, now you loaded the frame type. Now, right now, my front is this whole way here, even though we didn't move the board. See the arrow? And then, like I said, just go into the attitude, rotation, go to yaw, change it to 45 degrees, hit apply. And you know what? Or save. I even zeroed out my Excel just for the heck of it. And then I disconnected, plugged back in, and then went from there. And then I just verified everything in the uh, flight data screen. So, um just thought I'd do a video just so I can uh, help somebody else if they're trying to figure out how to do Exmo without actually moving your board. Okay? So, I mean, you could do it that way, too. You could just rotate your board also um, if you wanted, but that gets to be a pain in the butt, and uh, I like doing that without uh, without moving the... taking this whole plate off here and remounting the uh, vibration dampeners, and uh, that'll take too much time, so... Just a quick way from plus to uh, X mode. Hope this helps you guys. All right. Goodbye.